Hey, what's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make an Excel tutorial to follow up on a previous Excel tutorial that I made, link at the top, um, where in a previous Excel tutorial I made a video of how to make a NPV profile. And a viewer, David Burod, had an awesome suggestion, so thank you so much, David Burod. And he said, awesome video, thank you so much for the compliment. Um, and he said you could also make a video showing how to find multiple IRRs in an NPV profile that has multiple IRRs, finding out what exactly those numbers are. So with that said, um, I just want to make a quick video to show you how to do that. So one thing to note is that the internal rate of return is the point where the net price value was equal to zero. So we see we have one uh, on the left right here, we have one on the right over here. And to do this, you can use the internal rate of return function. Now it helps if you have so a MVP profile already made, like you see. So equals IRR, open parentheses, and then the first argument is the values. And in this, you just put in your cash flows and it's required. The second argument is a guess, where you put in a guess into what you think the internal rate of return will be. And it's not necessary for the function to work, but with that said, it's extremely useful um, because the internal rate of return function just does iterative calculations. So it just guesses and checks to see, okay, does this number work? Does this, does this number work? Does this number work? Until it finds a number that will work for the calculations that she's at hand and defaults to be 10% if you put in nothing. In this situation, however, when you have an NPV, NPV profile with multiple IRRs, it is extremely important to use the guess. Where you want to use the guess that is closest to the internal rate of return that you're trying to find. So as you can see in this situation, we have internal rate of return around I think the nine or ten percent mark. So I'm going to do 0 0.09 as a guess, and that gives internal rate of return of ten percent. As you can see, the net present value is equal to zero. The second is one where I am going to do the same thing equals IR, and then the, the values is going to the cash flows, but the guess is going to be different. In this situation, the guess is going to be effective at least second and um, IR, which is around, I think, the 21% mark, let's just call it 0.21, close parentheses. And you can see the second IR is at the 20% mark. Another approach that you could use is you could use goal seek. Um, so here, just say we type in 9 and then 15, for example, um, just kind of hypothetically, to use placeholders. So here we have MPV profiles and just MPV calculation. The first argument is the internal rate of return. The second argument is cash flows. You have another NPV form function with the first argument being the rate, the second argument being the cash flows. And you can use goal seek to be able to and you can use Google to be able to set the it, it, MPV equal to zero by changing the internal rate of return. So in doing this, you can do Alt A W G. So data, then what what, it, what if analysis? And you can set the MPV profile to be zero by changing the rate of return. Click OK. As you can see, 9.99% effectively 10%. And for you can try this as well for the second turn, internal rate of return. So you can do data, what if analysis, then goal seek. Set the cell equals zero by changing the second turn. Click OK. And as you can see, it found 10% or 20%. So with that said, I really hope that you found this to be useful in finding the internal rate of returns when there are multiple internal rate of returns on an NPV profile. I hope, and please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Thank you so much for watching, and y'all have a great day.